All right, so good afternoon. Uh, today I figured I would show you guys a quick little how-to on how to replace wheel studs. Uh, whether you cross-thread your wheel studs, if one snaps, well, uh, it's a very simple process. Should be done in no time. So, step one, remove the wheel. So step two is you gotta remove your caliper, which is two 17 millimeter bolts on my 240. This is the S14 240. I'll remove these two bolts. Uh, I might remove this guy just up out of the way. Now when you take your caliper off, Make sure you don't hang it by the brake line. Find some zip ties, zip tie it to something, or uh, even if you have like a, a coat hanger, metal coat hanger, you can wrap it around something. Just don't let it hang by the, by the brake line. Step three is to remove the rotor. So hopefully it comes right off. Sometimes it's a little stuck and you might have to hit it a little bit. Now, if you see on these, uh, on these, someone changed four of them and left the fifth guy. Most of the time you can get away with just smashing it with a hammer. Uh, a lot of people like to put a nut on it. Um, I like to give it a couple, I like to give it a couple taps and see if it moves at all. If it doesn't move, then I'll put a nut on it just so you don't mess up the end of the thread. So let me test this out. Most uh, most cars have a little spot where you could pull the uh, where you could actually pull the stud out from behind. So mine happened to be right there. The only problem is whoever had this car beforehand, this dust shield was uh, folded in. So all I had to do was just grab it with some pliers, bend it back straight, hit it hit a little bit with the hammer, straighten it right out, and then the wheel studs came out. Uh, with the stock size ones. You don't even have to worry about that, but but uh, since I'm gonna go with the ARP, they're extended, so you need that extra space to send it through. So what I'm using now is, I'm going with ARP because ARP is one of the best you can use. I bought these ARP wheel studs off Injuka Racing. Uh, if you wanna check them out, I'm leaving a link in the description. They got a, a ton of stuff for Nissan and some other parts. So uh, the only thing different with these, uh, but these is it's a different uh, thread pitch, so uh, you need new uh, you need new lug nuts with these. So you can't run your stock lug nuts with these. You got to get order a new set. But since this is the only thing connecting your tires to the road, uh, why not go with the best? Why chance it with like some shitty ones? So uh, gonna throw these in and uh, then put everything back together. I actually forgot what step we're on, so uh, next step. You wanna send it through? Now what you're gonna need here is you're gonna need one of your lug nuts to set this. So uh, these are extended threads, so what I'm gonna do actually is uh, gonna put something like a spacer on it. Washer, big ass nut. More washers. And then where is my so hold on I got line around, so 
gonna throw that in. Gonna do, it's the easiest with the impact gun. If you don't have an impact gun, use your muscle and a ratchet. And you got one done. You just repeat that another four times. And you're good. All right, so now that you have all five of your wheel studs in, time to do everything you just did before in reverse. So we're gonna throw the rotor back on, and then we're gonna throw the, the caliper back on, and then, uh, then we're gonna put the wheels back on. So uh, it's the actual, the hardest part of this whole process sometimes is putting the caliper back on. So uh, if you could do that, you could do this whole process like that. All right, so we're all back together. Everything's back together. Uh, one thing I like to do is, uh, since these, since those are uh, open-ended lug nuts, uh, one thing I like to do is put a little bit of, just a little bit of anti-seize on the, on the wheel studs, just so uh, you don't have to worry about corrosion as much. So I'm gonna put a little, a very thin layer on there. Um, I like to put it on because you don't have to worry about them like seizing, anti-seize. Uh, with all the, the road grime and weather and New York sucks. So I'm uh, gonna put a very thin layer on there and then I'm gonna put the wheels back on and then we're all good. So as you saw, it was a very simple process to change your wheel studs. Uh, if you follow these directions, you'll have an easy time doing it also. I did the rear, the front's the same exact thing because it's just the brakes, it's the same thing. The only thing you might have a little trouble with is you might have to compress the caliper a little bit because uh, from it sitting there, it kind of like squeezes as if it was, the rotor got smaller, if that makes sense. So uh, you might have to like compress it back open is you compressing it still? Uh, but sometimes the sometimes your rear caliper has a the e brake is inside the rotor. It's kind of like a drum brake style e brake for the for the rear. Basically the same process with that, but just pay attention when you're taking uh, taking the assembly apart, and then you just reverse it. If you need to, take a picture of it. So then it's even easier to go back. So I want to thank you guys for joining me, and on this quick one, I hope you guys learned something because. Uh, I use YouTube to learn all the time too. So uh, thanks for joining me. If you if you need if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.